Nothing I can do. The council is doing the garden. Can't stop them. Anyway, so we hope it will not be too loud. Anyway, welcome to Rians. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas. And I please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, a while ago I um, announced that I'm working with my friend Ellen Cook on a 38 Spirit Animal Guide Oracle card deck. That has now um, all been done and we're having a Kickstarter event um, on. You can see it somewhere here. Um, anyway, there's a little thing about it and the, the link to the Kickstarter is actually in the description box. Now, Kickstarter events only run for about eight weeks and because we um, did this on August the 1st and this is your video for September, be quick. Right? And so, so you can pledge different things and um, if we have enough people pledge um, then we can actually have that or turn that um, idea um, into a reality. So thank you very much. Anyway, what we're doing here at Horeans is this is your general reading for September 2022 and we will divide it in um, sections uh, so it is easier for you to understand and easier for me to read, if that makes sense. So we'll be looking at the overall energy for the months of September 2022 for the sign of Aries before we then go into your emotional core. Emotional core is what can go with regards to love <coughs> or maybe old trauma. And then lastly, we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of September. So here we go. With no further ado, let's have a look what we got for the overall energy for the months ahead. Now, Taurians, remember, you are a sign of a doer, right? And the message that you have is it's time to take action, right? It's time to take action, followed by the energy is gaining momentum. So, this is September, the ninth month. Nine is the number of completion. Logically speaking, whatever you do this month has a much better chance of being completed. And what they're asking you to do in all things is to be not only proactive, but in your kick-ass state. Where you know, I'm going to go for this, and I'm going to go after this, and I'm going to look into this, and I'm going to make decisions here, right? And I'm getting a bit of this uh, feistiness that is also an imprint of yours, that while most people maybe don't like that side of yours or the, um, quite as much as your tender side, it is still a part of you. And sometimes being feisty translates into having a lot of conviction and a lot of strength. So channel this this month because this is what the guides are asking you. It's time to take action. The energy is gaining momentum, right? That was the overall energy. Now we're looking at your emotional core. Let's see what we got here. Right, well, with regards to hmm, relationships, if that, if that's if that makes sense. Um, anything you do that has to do with either letting go of old pain or looking into attracting a new relationship or bringing the, the, the existing one um, to another level, what does not work this month, especially since they're asking you to have this more in your face energy this month, is to carry this over to relationships. Because what you are being asked is to bring love into the situation. So anything to do with how you feel mm, romantically or how you want to feel romantically or what you want to um, manifest romantically. So I'm not getting any old pain here leaving this month. I'm not saying it won't, but the messages that I'm getting is, is all about um, either reflecting on, a, on an existing um, blah, 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 uh, relationship or manifest a new one into being and if you do so meet all challenges with love so if there's anything in your relationship that you feel is not running or working the way you would want it confronting someone is while it is not unimportant is how you do it right have a conversation have a cup of tea right maybe even have a date um, and then use that opportunity to gently address what needs to change, if that makes sense. So the more you become irate 
um, about stuff. It's just a reminder, if you're already annoyed about it or irate about it, then this feeling has been with you for quite some time, which is another important um, lesson, is to speak up before the shit hits the fan, right? So, and now we're looking lastly at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of September 2022 for the sign of Taurus. Now, like I said, you're watching Thomas Tarot page. Please like, subscribe and share widely. It helps the channel grow. Really, really important. And like I said, um, there are a lot of work went into the new deck. Um, and, um, and my friend Ellen Cook, is such a great artist the the artistry in in the in the imagery let me just show show you some of them here right so you see this so you have the wolf here and the hawk and then we have the panther panther and the bearded dragon and the chimpanzee the horse so all these animals all these uh, these will all are all cards that will be in the deck that we're hoping to um, come to fruition, provided um, the Kickstarter turns out well, because this is quite costly. Anyway, this is a great um, combination, a, tra a great cooperation and, and collaboration. And um, so please, 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 if you can support the idea of the, um, the Kickstarter, it makes uh, a lot of sense and it would also help us big time. In any case, let's have a look at the um, opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of September. Now, Taurians, they already asked you and asked you earlier to be um, proactive, to be um, not exactly in your face, but to, um, to be determined to get what you want, if that makes sense. And with regards to opportunities, what they're asking you is to balance your spiritual side with your practical side. So right and because you, you have been asked this month to be a bit more analytical which is sort of the right hand side don't forget that you also have a great intuition so use your left hand side as well and remember no matter what it is you want to actually um come to you with anything with regards that uh, that sustains you financially it has to be done from the depth of you right that sounds great. Is this really as great when I ref reflect on it? So that is your analytical point. And it makes sense. But at the same time, feel it. Do you really feel that this would not only sustain you, but fulfill you? That sort of thing? Really, really important. La lastly, uh, Taurians, you have luck is on your side. What more can you possibly want? So what the guides are saying is opportunities are coming. They are being sent your way. You have manifested well. And because it is the ninth month, months of completion, don't procrastinate over anything. Go for it. So, my dear friends, that's all we got time for. You were watching Thomas's Tarot page. Again, please like, subscribe and share. It does help grow the channel. It's a free service and we would like to reach as many people as you possibly can. Right? A shout out to the people from the council. They're doing a great job. Can't help it, it is a bit loud. In any case, bye bye.